Hello, in today's episode we are going to talk about Plesiosaurus. If you are enjoying our content, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the bell to be notified about our future releases. You can also support us with YouTube Premium Membership, which will grant you benefits, such as viewing our videos early, loyalty badges, and access to supporter-only polls. We also have mobile games, available both on Play Store and App Store, which will be linked in description. Plesiosaurus is a genus of extinct, large marine sauropterygian predatory reptile that lived during the early part of the Jurassic period, about 200 to 175 millions of years ago, and is known by nearly complete skeletons from the Lias of England. It is distinguishable by its small head, long and slender neck, broad turtle-like body, a short tail, and two pairs of large, elongated paddles. It lends its name to the order Plesiosauria, of which it is an early, but fairly typical member. It contains only one species, the type, Plesiosaurus dolichodirus. Plesiosaurus was moderately sized dinosaur, with lengths between 3 meters, up to 4.5 meters. It was characterized by a long neck, that made about half of its length, and it was built with approximately 40 neck vertebrae. Mass of the adult Plesiosaurus was about 500 kilograms. However compared to other aquatic animals, it is one of the smaller predators. It is smaller than average great white shark, which is on average 5 meters long. In comparison to other prehistoric aquatic predators, Plesiosaurus was dwarfed by others, such as Mosasaurus, which largest species was about 17 meters long, or Megalodon, which could be as long as 20 meters. First complete skeleton of Plesiosaurus was discovered in 1823 in Lias Group in England. Over the years many other fossils were found in the same location. In total over 900 specimens have been found on the coasts all over the world, with most complete in England, Ireland, Germany, France, United States, Mexico, South Africa, Chile, and Japan. However large number of fossils, does not represent the knowledge about Plesiosaurus. Plesiosaurus historically has been considered a wastebasket taxon, meaning that its purpose was to classify organisms, that does not fit anywhere else. Often after closer examination of fossils, it were granted different genus, meaning it's no longer classified as Plesiosaurus. Some scientists believe that the neck might have been inflexible, with only gentle arcs along entire neck possible. This would make the neck hilly stable in the water, helping to reduce drag, and reach higher speeds. This theory would make Plesiosaurus a chase predator, chasing its prey, or attacking it from sides, or from below. However if the neck was flexible it would make it harder to reach higher speeds, as it would need to be constantly kept straight, wasting energy, this would also make Plesiosaurus more of an ambush predator, waiting for its prey to come close, then catch them with flexible neck. Skull of Plesiosaurus was smaller than any other dinosaur from Plesiosaur genera. It was triangle shaped, with characteristic lower jaw, made out of two parts fused together, with characteristic V-shaped incision with an angle of about 45 degrees. Unlike the nostrils of Romeliosaurus, Plesiosaurus nostrils do not appear to be adapted for underwater smelling. The teeth of Plesiosaurus are simple, needle-like, cones that are slightly curved and circular in transverse section. They are sharply pointed with fine striations running from tip to base, and point forward. This procumbency becomes more pronounced near the leading end of the skull, where they may be only 10 to 15 degrees above horizontal. There are 20 to 25 teeth per upper jaw tooth row, and 24 per low jaw tooth row. Plesiosaurus limbs were designed for aquatic lifestyle, being paddle-shaped, and having specialistic attachments to the rest of the skeleton. The shoulder girdle is only partly known but appears to be typical for plesiosaurs. It includes fused clavicles at the anterior end, scapulae, shoulder blades, and large coracoids. 
The scapulae and coracoids both contribute to the glenoids, arm sockets. A pair of oval holes called pectoral fenestrae are found midway along the scapula-slash-coracoid contacts. Both hand paddle and foot paddle have five digits. Plesiosaurus fed mainly on clams and snails, and is thought to have eaten belemnites, fish and other prey as well. Its U-shaped jaw and sharp teeth would have been like a fish trap. It propelled itself by the paddles, the tail being too short to be of much use. Its neck could have been used as a rudder when navigating during a chase. Plesiosaurus gave live birth to live young in the water like sea snakes. The young might have lived in estuaries before moving out into the open ocean. It has been postulated that the long neck of Plesiosaurus would have been a hindrance when trying to speed up, any bend in the neck creating turbulences. If that is the case then Plesiosaurus would have had to keep its neck straight to achieve good acceleration, something that would make hunting difficult. For this reason it may be possible that these animals would actually lie in wait for prey to come close instead of trying to pursue them.